And I won't say that any of them are gonna, whoever lost shouldn't be disappointed. They put on their Ladies best performance. There's not many people, as you know, Scott, that are gonna get in the ring and they're gonna fight like that. Definitely, definitely the, a loss is never nice. It's, it's never nice, but as long as you know, in your own head, you've done everything you needed to do. Maybe you could have done a bit more, I don't know, but. But that's the team. I was gonna say, that's the genius in fighting. You know, if you lose. You don't always go and talk to the, your opponent mm. and say, hey, you know, what, what, what do you think I, my mistake was? You know, I was catching you like this. This is how I was getting you. So you get a little bit more information back and you can utilize that later yeah. on, yeah. you know? As long as your eagle doesn't get in the way. Definitely. You know? Go and talk to the other corner as well. Do you know what I mean? Have a quick word with them. You know, thank you for the fight. But again, try to get some, glean some information, you know, on how, how they think you lost. So who do we have here now? I don't know. I thought it was supposed to be Craig Wood and Sol De Silva, but I think that it's Ryan Matchin. Matchin? I believe this is obviously a boxing box. And about. introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He weighs in at 70 kilograms you okay? and proudly represents Primal MMA, Tom Hamilton! Could have been a bit different this time, bit of a boxing match. I don't really uh, know about these, uh, about much about these lads, so. No, I don't even think I've got any information on them either. So Tom Hamilton, is he in the blue corner? No, that is Ryan, that's Ryan in the, uh, in the blue corner, I guess. From Stoke. Uh, don't, don't get me, don't correct me if I'm wrong, but Stoke, is that in England? Yes, we do. Right, it's, okay. Um, with us being here in North Wales and Clan didn't know. Kind of handy to know. Yeah, that's it. But yeah, we're Not here. Not too sure where Primal Jim is. Um, I, I couldn't tell you that either. <laughs> Not doing very well on this boat. Once again, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, uh, Primal Jim. Uh, I believe it's from Rill. I recognise I recognize that trainer. From, from, from Rill? From Primal, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Weighing in at 70 kilograms and fighting out of Stoke on Trent. Ryan Definitely North Wales. Marching! So, folks, this is just a straight up boxing and match. His opponent, fighting out of the no Red kicking, court. no headbutting, no heart no gouging. <laughs> Proudly representing Primal MMA, Tom Hamilton. There you go, Tom's age, 38 years old, weighed in at 68 key. And Ryan, we don't have an age for him. I might be wrong, but I believe Ryan, I think, has fought Mike in a couple of shows ago. If I, if I remember rightly, he looks familiar. What, Mike Egan? Yeah, Mike Egan, sorry, yeah. I might be wrong. Three two-minute rounds, boxing. Yeah, because what a lot of people don't know about Mike Egan, he's just not a Thai boxer, but he's got titles in boxing as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, he was um, unbeaten in boxing, I believe. Wow. K1 champion as well. Yeah, world champion, British, European. Great accolades. There's only so many belts you can have holding your pants up. I don't know what you have to do with all of them. That's why he don't. hangs them all up on the wall. <laughs> 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 a nice wardrobe to have. Tom's throwing a nice jab. He's, uh, he's keeping him at bay with that jab. He's keeping Ryan at bay with that jab. Very nice, very nice sharp jab going straight through the middle of his defense. Yeah, I was going to say, I like Ryan's head movement. Yeah? yeah. He seems quite bobbing, weaving. I like that. I like seeing that in a boxer. Kind of hard to hit, you know? Stationary target, easy. Definitely. You know? Moving target, a lot more difficult. Kind of waste out the other guy throwing punches at you. What did uh, Muhammad Ali, Ali used to call it? The rope of dope? Yeah. yeah. Hey, um, Tom, Tom's finding that jab all the time. Um, I mean, Ryan is moving his head, but I think as he's coming up, Tom's catching him with that jab. All right, yeah. So Here it is again. It's good to see two boxers not just rushing in on each other, but you know, they, they are both fighting technical. You've got Ryan, like you say, ducking and weaving. You've got Tom just standing his ground, throwing the jab, and it's connected. So let's see if he can do it for three rounds. 
and Ryan. A bit out of range there with that straight for Ryan. Nice head movement. Very good round. Very good round. You know what I like when I uh, see a, some boxers do and some don't is you know that extending that hand out, sort of like as a, a range finder. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Without punching it, but just putting it in the guy's face, and you know trying to line up for your other shot. I don't know if we're going to see something on the replay, but uh, yeah, coming from Ryan, where he just kind of sticks his hand out, we might not see it. There's some good jabs going on there. Seconds out, round two. No, they didn't show it. But yeah, would you would you say, Scott, that's kind of an important part of strategy as well? Is getting finding your range. Do you know what I mean? Oh, like, of course, of course. In boxing, you've always got to find your range, haven't you? You know, otherwise your, your punches aren't one hundred percent effective. Um, Ryan seems like he's come out with a little bit more energy in this round. Tom just doesn't need to get carried away. Hands need to be up a little bit higher for me, for Tom. As you can see, Ryan's hands are stuck to his forehead. I think he's gassed a little bit, Tom. Um, Do you think Tom needs to raise his hands up a little bit more? Yeah, definitely. I think um, one sweeping overhand punch, um, he yeah, might be in trouble. Now, see, he should be throwing it. That's it. That's really good. Yeah. With Tom with his, his his left jab, but you can see where he's open. His head's up a little bit high as well, yeah. I would have thought, exposing yeah. his jaw. That's it. You know, what's that? Take. That's it. And that was I it. That's, that's yeah. I thought it was coming. I thought it was coming. The uh, yeah, let's keep hands it. were a bit too let's far Let's just too keep an eye on Tom. It's over. And that's it, over. Yeah, all well done. Good, the medics are in there. They're on it. It's, um, it's just one of them things that happens. If your hands are up high, somebody will always find yeah. that over the top. And yeah. That's what happens. I mean, Unfortunately, it's never nice to see. No. It's never nice to see all fighters. But yeah, you could see with the hands being down, and even though the jab was going out, there's. Yeah. You've got to tuck your chin down, you've got to rotate your shoulder over. Hopefully, yeah. that's going to protect some of that, and you're not doing that. You're going to get clocked. Yeah, 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 100% agree, mate. He fought, he, really, he fought a really good round, first round. Stuck to his jab, his hands were up. Obviously, Ryan knew what he had to do in that second round. Um, but he's, uh, he's all right. That's the important thing. Yeah, medical staff are just checking him over now. He's looking stable. We'll see when he goes to have a little walk. And he's staggering a little bit still. Yeah. So one thing about you know, trying to protect the fighters all the time is yeah, having a look yeah. at how their gait is when they're walking. Ladies and gentlemen, determine that they're, they're, they're still safe. Seconds yeah. into round two. Your winner by knockout in the blue corner, Ryan Merchant! A very, very, very good overhand punch. You know, I mean, if there was a lesson to learn from that, it was just what you were saying, Scott. Make sure your hands are up all the time. Yeah. I mean, you're in the ring fighting. Why you don't drop your hands, you know? I think we're going to see it here. I believe, what was it, a left punch, was it? Yeah. yeah. Over the top. Nice hook. Very nice hook. And to tell you the truth, it wasn't on the side that I thought he was going to get him. I thought he was going to catch him with a right. Well, yeah. See, it was right there. Uh, you can see, it, you can see it. But he's, he's picked it. He's seen, he's seen his right hand drop. He's seen his right hand drop. He's took the opportunity. It's worked for him. Yeah. It, was a good, it was a good clean shot. Yeah, very, very. Yeah, and obviously really great to see the medical staff jumping right in there as well, making sure all the fighters are all looked after and everybody's well-being is looked after as well. Last thing we need is anybody getting seriously hurt. 